you, Father. We bless the Lord today once again. God is so good, and we know this. God is good. He's awesome. He's mighty, and we bless his name. We bless his name. We give praise. We give thanks to him alone, to God alone. Thank you, Lord God. And I praise God. Excuse me for each and every one of you once again this day, this day that the Lord made. God made this day, y'all, and that's why we're rejoicing in it. We're glad in it, and we know that nothing we face today that we're facing by ourselves. Because God is in us, He's with us, thank you, Lord God, and because God is with us, that's more than this world could ever be against us. I praise God, you know, one passage, amen, praise God, this passage, amen, of scripture this morning, even as we were in the word of God in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 30, but it's verse 14, thank you, Lord God, it says, but the word is nigh unto thee, the word of God is close to you. The Word of God is very close to you. And I thank God because even as the Word of God says, it's in your mouth. It's in your mouth. It's in your heart. Thank you, Lord God. And that, thank you, Father, knowing that thou may do it, that we will do what this Word of God. We have the Word of God, which is truth. The Word of God that's going to stand when everything else fails. God's Word is going to stand, and we're able to stand because of His Word. And I bless God this morning. I praise God. You know, yesterday as we shared with you, amen, the Word of God, we said, Speak, Lord. Speak, Lord. And even as He was saying, Speak, Lord, and even for those of you that are on already, early, praise God, before we came on, to understand the Word of God, where, you know, the song, amen, Speak to my heart, Lord. Speak to my heart. God deals with God. Right, he deals with our heart. And this is what we're saying. God, if you speak to us, if you speak to us, we'll know what to do, how to do it, and when to do it. Because our heart, Father, it is it's, 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 it's geared toward God. We want to hear what thus said the Lord. And as we're hearing God and walking in obedience, we can't go wrong to the Word of God, to His Word, following what God has given us to do. And I praise God still this morning. Even as we'll read it to you out of 1 Kings chapter 22. Amen. We share the story. Amen. Praise God. We understand how Jehoshaphat. Amen. He came in alliance. He came in alliance with uh, with Ahab. And he did this. Praise God. To understand it was his son. Amen. Who married. Praise God. Uh, Ahab's daughter. So they were in alliance. You know, by marriage, but then he came again and came in, you know, in agreement to go to battle with him. He felt obligated to go into battle with him. But I thank God still for the word of God because we're picking it up. Thank you, Lord God. We wanted to finish the story for you to understand what took place here. And even in the word of God, amen. Thank you, Father. In First Kings chapter 22. Amen. Praise God. Because even after Jehoshaphat said that he would do this, he said, wait a minute. Is there not a prophet? Is there somebody that can speak a word that we need to hear? We want to hear from God. And this is always, should always be the thing that we want to hear from God. Everything that we do, God, I want to hear your word. I want to know what should I do. Amen. Praise God. Even though sometimes, you know, we, we take it upon ourselves, you know, well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You know, all the plans that we talked about this last week, praise God, that many are the plans in a man's heart, many are the devices, that's the word of God, Proverbs 19, 21, many are the devices in a man's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose, it's always going to be the purpose of God that's going to prevail, what God say, his counsel, what God said, that's what's going to stand, everything else y'all, it's going to fail, but it's God's word that's going to stand. And so here it is, praise God, that even as Jehoshaphat, he said, you know, you got all these prophets, 400 of them, and they all saying the same thing. But he said, wait a minute, this is not a you know, little prophet, you know, the Lord that we can hear from. And so even where uh, Ahab, he said, you know, there's that one, Micah, you know, he don't prophesy good things. All you do is prophesy bad things, you know what I mean? And he didn't want to hear him. So here's the word of the Lord in 1 Kings 22, verse 13. The word of God says, The messenger who had gone to summon Micah said to him, Look, the other prophets, the other prophets without exception, are predicting success for the king. Every, in other words, he's saying, we all saying the same thing. It's going to be successful if you go into battle. So let your word agree with theirs and speak favorably. He's saying, speak what they're saying. He's telling them what to say. 
But Micah said, as surely as the Lord lives, I can I can tell him only what the Lord tells me. And when he arrived, the king asked him, Micah, shall we go? Shall we go to war against Ramah Gilead or not? Attack. <laughs> he said, be victorious. That's what he asked her, for the Lord will give it, amen, into the king's hand. And so here in verse 16, it ought to tell us something, and even should tell him something. The king said to him, how many times must I, must I make you swear to tell me nothing but the truth in the name of the Lord? So then Micah answered, he said, I saw all of Israel was scattered. They were scattered on the hill like sheep without a shepherd. And the Lord said, these people have no master. Let each one of them go home in peace. The king of Israel, he said to Jehoshaphat, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you? He never prophesied anything good, amen, about me, but only the bad. So Micah, he continued, he said, therefore hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on the throne with all the multitudes of heaven standing around him on his right and on his left. And he said, the Lord said, who will entice Ahab in attacking Ramon Gilad going to his death there? And one suggested this and another that. And finally the spirit came forward, stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And in verse 22, the word of God says, by what means the Lord asked. And he said, I will go and be a deceiving spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, he said, you will succeed in enticing him. And the Lord said, go do it. The Lord told him to go. So now the Lord has put a deceiving spirit in the mouth of all these prophets of yours. This is what, you know, this is what Micah is telling the king. He's telling him, this is what, you know, what has happened. All of these prophets who prophesied to you, they're lying to you. It's a deceiving spirit. The Lord has decreed disaster for you. So in verse 24, the word of God says, Then Zedekiah, amen, son of Kenai, Kenai, amen, he went up and he slapped Micah, amen, in the face. And he said, Which way did the Spirit from the Lord go, amen, when he sent, amen, when he went from me to speak to you, he asked. So what he's saying, so when did the Spirit, when, when did this change, you know, after what I said, when did the Spirit change? <laughs> God. And Micah, Micah replied, he said, you will find out the day that you go to hide in the inner room. And in verse 26, the word of God says, the king of Israel then ordered, take Micah, send him back, amen, to Amon, the ruler of the city, amen, and to Joash, amen, the king's son, and say, this is what the king says, put this fellow in prison, give him nothing but bread and water until I return safely. But in verse 28, the word of God says, Micah declared, if you ever return safely, the Lord has not spoken through me. Then he added, mark my words, all you people. And in verse 29, the word of God says this, so the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, they went up to Ramoth Gilead. And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, I will enter the battle in disguise. I'm going to enter into the battle in disguise, but you wear your royal robe. So the king of Israel, he disguised himself and he went into battle. Now the king of Aram, he had ordered his 32 chariot commanders, do not fight with anyone small or great except the king of Israel. And when the chariot commanders saw Jehoshaphat, they thought, surely this is the king of Israel. So they turned to attack him. But when Jehoshaphat cried out, the chariot commanders saw that it was not the king of Israel. They stopped pursuing him. But someone threw his bow at random, at random, thank you, Lord God, and it hit the king of Israel between the sections of his armor. And the king told his chariot driver, wheel around, get me out of the, out of the fighting. I've been wounded. All day long, the battle raged, and the king was, uh, he was propped up, amen, in his chariot facing the Arameans. And the blood from his wound ran, it ran to the, uh, to the floor, amen, of the chariot. And that evening, he died. In verse 36, the word of God says, as the sun was setting, a cry spread throughout the army. Every man to his town, every man to his land. So the king died and was brought 
to Samaria and they buried him there. And there washed there they washed the chariot at a pool in Samaria where the prostitutes bathed. And the dogs licked up the blood and the word of the Lord had declared. Amen. In verse 39 it says, As Amen for the other events, Ahab he reigned and clothing all he did. Praise God, the palace he built and adorned it in ivory. Amen. In the cities, amen, that fortified and they praise God, they are not written in the book of the annals, amen, of the king of Israel. But Ahab he rested, praise God, with his ancestors. Amen. And Ahazai, amen, the son, his son succeeded him as king. So still again, y'all, even as I understand this, what I praise God for is the word of God. God's word is truth. And even as we share this, amen, stating that's in the word of God, that thy word, God's word is true. Whatever God has spoken, whatever God has said in his word is true. God's word is true. This is the highest form of reality that you and I have is the word of God, his word. It doesn't matter what man say. Thank you. It matters what God say. And even as we say it, praise God, we said to you this morning, amen, thank you, Lord God, that the word, but the word is very nigh, it's nigh unto us. The word of God is close to us, amen. It's in our mouth. The word of God that we have, and even when we open up this word, whatever's going on in our lives, when we open up the word of God to see what God say, what does God say about this? What is God saying concerning my life? What did God say? And still again, this, these are things that we have to remind ourselves what God has spoken, what God has already spoken, what God, and this is the thing, if a, a prophetic word has come, amen, God spoke a word to you, what he said he's going to do, and if that word has not come to pass yet, that means that it's still, it, it, it's still God is going to do what he said he's going to do. We already talked about Kairos. We talked about, amen, chronological time, that many times we're on that chronological clock. We're saying, okay, the clock is ticking, and okay, God, you haven't done this, you haven't done this, that yet. But understand that in God's appointed time, that our change, it will come. God, the change will come. Amen. But what you and I have to do is hold on to the Word of God. We're holding on to the Word of God because it's our life. This is our life. Amen. And as we're holding on to that Word and still knowing that God is not a man, that He cannot, will not, and never have lied. Whatever God said He's going to do, He's going to do it. Thank you, Lord God. But I bless God that even as we share this particular story, amen, to understand it didn't matter what Ahab tried to do. And even understand it, it didn't matter about the 400 prophets, amen, who spoke and said, yeah, let's go into battle. You're going to win. You know, that this is going to No. But there was that one. And sometimes it seemed as if though that one is just standing alone. It may seem that way. But understand still this is God before you. It don't matter about the whole world being against you. It doesn't matter what everybody else saying. Majority, thank you, Lord God. That's the saying of the world. The majority rule. Amen. The majority may rule, but let me tell you, the majority is not always right. It's what did God say. It's still even what comes to mind out of the word of God in Proverbs. Thank you, Father. Three, five, six. We always refer back to the word. It says trust in the Lord. We are to trust in the Lord with all our heart, all of our heart. God deals with the heart. It's a heart issue. He deals with our heart that we would trust him. Take him at his word. He says, trust in him with all of our heart. Don't lean to your own understanding, but in all your ways, everything, what we are to do, we are to acknowledge God. Acknowledge God. Acknowledge in him because he's the maker. He's the ruler. He's the creator. Elohim of the all of everything, everybody. And in spite of everything, and understand where we are right now in, the, in this world, this world, we see things that are happening. We see things around us. We see, praise God, the word of God being fulfilled. But as a people of God, there's a place for us that we have to be in him, abiding, continue to abide in that word, in the word of God. The word of God is our strength. The Word of God, everything that we need is in the Word and it's in the presence of God. That when we get in His presence, this is where the fullness of our joy is. It's in the presence. And if you notice, what the enemy try to do, he try to keep us out of the presence of God. He try to keep us from coming to God. He'll try to keep us in a place, you know, of, of isolation. He'll try to keep us in a place that, you know, always, oh, you know, uh, by ourselves. 
thank you, Lord God, but this is still the more reason why we press in. It's a press. We have to press. We got to press past all the noise. You got to press past. All, and when I'm saying the noise, all those words, those words, let me tell you, we all we hear words, words. There's always words. Somebody saying this and somebody saying that. And understand the enemy is speaking. He's speaking. He's speaking loud. He's roaring. But you got to make it past all that noise. All the noise and there's a quiet place, oh my God. There's a quiet place in the, in the presence of God. Listen, there's still the chaos that's taking place around you, but let me tell you, when you get in the presence of God, there's a peace of God. The peace of God, the very peace of God that surpasses our understanding that will God, our hearts and our minds. God is going to lead us and he's going to guide us. But we have to get in that place, in that place. Thank you, Lord God. And still what I thank God for because even just this morning, the word of God. Thank you, Father. In Isaiah 40, amen, where it talks about they that wait, those who are waiting. When you wait on the Lord, he said, you're going to renew your strength. You're going to renew your strength. The strength that you're gonna that's gonna be renewed, he said, you're gonna renew your strength, praise God. Amen. And I thank God that you're gonna mount up. He said, it shall mount up with wings, wings as an eagle. Wings as an eagle, and they're gonna run and not thank your Lord God, run and not be weary. You're gonna walk and not faint. When I looked at this and understood, praise God, when it says the wings of an eagle, the eagle it has these broad, long wings. Broad, long wings. And this is the thing it says, it's with many adaptations. And what we're saying is this, his wings, the wings of the eagle, it helps him to fly. It helps him to fish. It helps him to soar. And when he soars, that means he's going above his the circumstance. He rises above. And what God is saying still through his word, they that wait, we that wait on God, we're waiting on God. We're not going to make a move without God. Not making a move without God, but when we wait on Him, He said we're going to renew strength. There's going to be some renewed strength. That strength, even when you feel like you have no strength, He still tells us in His Word, He said, let the weak say, I'm strong. I'm strong. I'm strong in the Lord. I'm strong in the power of what? His might. His might. Thank you, Lord God. I'm able to soar above. I'm going above my circumstance. He said, above it. I'm going above it. Thank you, Father. I bless God in the name of Jesus still begin to understand. Amen. The word of God, the word of God is so very nigh to all of us. It's in our mouth. In our mouth. Thank you, Lord God. And when we speak the word of God, declaring what God has spoken. Again, even as we see here from this particular passage out of 1 Kings, Ahab, he didn't want to hear what Micah had to say. Micah had a word of the Lord. A word of the Lord. Those others, it was a lying spirit. But still to understand, it's so important that we hear what thus said the Lord. What is God saying? What has God said concerning you? What did God say he's going to do? Thank you, Lord God. Still again, I'm declaring, I declare it. Thank you, Father, that this is my Bible. The word of God, this is, this is my Bible. It's the incorruptible, indestructible, ever-living seed. I am what it says I am, and I have what God says I have. I can do what God say I can do. That should be, praise God, all about our confession. Amen. I am. Thank you, Lord God. We belong to God. We are who He says we are. We have what God says we have. And more than anything, we can do what God says we can do. Thank you, Lord God, because God has the final say. God does. Not man. It's God. God has that final say still knowing how close the word of God is to us. I bless God this morning in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. And Father, here we are again. Here we are again. We're thanking you. We're praising you, our Savior. We're honoring you, Lord God. We thank you for another day, a new day, a new mercy. Thank you, Father. We bless and honor you, Lord God. And even as Jeremiah the prophet, he declared your compassions, Father, that fail not. They are new this morning. Great is your faithfulness. Great is
is your faithfulness, Lord God, and we are grateful. We thank you that even as we begun this day in your presence, we begin it, Lord God, with a heart full of joy, a heart full of expectancy, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that nothing, not one thing that we face today, Lord God, is going to overtake us. It's not going to consume us. We praise and glorify you because we belong to you. We belong to you, Father, and we thank you for who you are in our lives. We bless your name. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, knowing that you are awesome, God. You are almighty, God. We bless your name, Father. We thank you this day, Lord God. We thank you because you are the bread of life. You are the bread of life for us. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, our comforter. You are, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, our counselor. Thank you in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning. You're the end. We thank you, Lord God, that even knowing you're the author and the finisher, Father, even of our faith. We bless and honor you right now. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus, we praise you, Father. We thank you, Lord God, and still even your word. You said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand. You have redeemed us, Father, from the hand of the enemy. We're serving you. We're glorifying you, Lord God. And we praise you and glorify you this day in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, because you are God with us this morning. Thank you, Lord God. Emmanuel. Ah. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus. I praise you, Father, even this morning, Lord God. Thank you for my brother. I thank you in the name of Jesus, Father, that even as you're moving by your grace and your mercy, Father, I thank you for his faith in you, his trust in you. I thank you, Lord God, even the name, Emmanuel. Thank you, Lord God, with us. God is with you in the name of Jesus. Every step in the mighty match this name of Jesus today. Father, I thank you right now. I praise you, Lord God, in the mighty match this name of Jesus. Every Lord. Lord God, petition that is before you. I thank you, Lord God, we cast our cares upon you because you care for us. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise you and glorify you, our deliverer. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the great I am. We thank you, Lord God, this day, the mighty God. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, who is our rock. You are, Lord God, our sure foundation. We bless and honor you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. You are, Lord God, our strength. You are our hope. You are, Lord God, our salvation this day in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, Jehovah. Thank you, Lord God, Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You're providing, Lord God, everything that we need. You are. We praise and glorify you, Lord God. Thank you. You are our word. You're the word. The word, Father, in the name of Jesus. It took on the form of flesh. The word. You are our word this morning. We bless you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, this day. We thank you, the promise keeper. Thank you, Lord God. God, keep his promise. He keep his promises. Thank you, Lord God. Whatever God promised, he keeps his promises. Thank you, Father. We bless you and we honor you right now in the mighty match this name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give praise. We give glory. The high priest of our confession. We thank you that we're able to come boldly before this throne. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We humble ourselves in your presence. In your presence, God. In your presence is where we desire to be. In your presence, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for being the shepherd that's leading, your guiding, Father. And we thank you. It's your voice that we hear. Your voice, Father, in the name of Jesus. You call us name and we bless you and honor you right now in the mighty matchless name of Jesus you know all things you see all things we thank you Lord God for every son every daughter in the mighty matchless name of Jesus what we stand in need of God that you meet in these needs in our lives we praise you for it we thank you Lord God this day in the name of Jesus we declare what you have spoken what you have spoken Lord in the name of Jesus, whatever God has spoken, what God gave you, thank you, boy, you're speaking his word, his word, God's word, in the name of Jesus, and I thank you so again, Father, this is the confidence, the confidence that we have in you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that as we ask anything according to your will, your will, Father, is your word, your will is your word, and we bless and honor
out of you, Father, for your word. And still knowing, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that if we're praying your word, we know, Father, that you hear us. And not only that you hear us, Lord God, but we have those things that we're asking of you. We praise and magnify you this day in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. Death and life is in the power of your tongue. Your tongue is in your tongue. It's in your mouth. The word of God is nigh unto you. In the name of Jesus. Very nigh. Thank you, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we praise you. We thank you right now, Lord God. Still decree and declaring, Father, what you have spoken. We thank you this day in the name of Jesus, your word. Your word, what you said, Lord God. And we bless you. We honor you right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, our faith to believe and trust you and know, Lord God, that you are God. You're God. You're still God. you always been God. In the mighty name of Jesus, and you're still on the throne. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, the righteous judge that he is. Thank you, Lord God. We praise you, Lord God, and thank you. We're thanking you. Giving thanks. This is still what you call us to do. Give praise to your name. Give praise. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty matchless name of Jesus, and knowing Everything, Lord God, everything, saints of God, this morning, all things is working together. In that word, together means no matter what it is you're going through, it's working together for the good, for the good. Thank you, Lord God. God is taking it and he's working this thing for the good of them who love him. And if you know you're loving God, your hands should be up. Give it praise, give it thanks. Thank you, Lord God, because of who we serve. Mighty God, awesome God. In the mighty matchless name of Jesus today, I praise God. I thank God. There's no failure in God. And whatever God has spoken, you're holding on to that word. You're holding on to the word of God. The word of God, what he's spoken, no matter what they say, it doesn't matter. It's what did God say because that's what matters in the mighty name of Jesus. What God said. And I thank God in the name of Jesus today for every last one of you. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, intercessors, prayer warriors, thank you, Lord God. God hears you. God sees you. Thank you, Lord God, and he cares. He's answering. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, God is moving even when it seems like, thank you, Lord God, it seems like nothing's happening, but let me tell you, it's happening. God is moving. It's a position that you and I, we have to take. There's a stand. Thank you, Lord God, that you make up in your mind. I'm not going to move. Thank you, Lord God. I'm going to stay. Thank you. you got to stay in that position. The enemy is going to come and try to move you from where God has positioned you. Don't move from there. Stay there. Stay there. Your strength is there. Your peace is there. Your joy is there. Your deliverance is there. Stay there. Thank you, Lord God. Stay in his word. Stay in his word in the mighty match of the name of Jesus. Word of God. It's very nigh. It's very nigh. It's in your mouth. It's in your mouth. Speak the word. Keep declaring it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I bless you. I honor you, Lord God. Still again this day, it's by the authority of your name that we render the demonic spirit. Every attack that would come up against us, against our families, our, families, our finances, is still helpless, powerless, inoperative, and still ineffective. We decree and declare in the word of the Lord. In God's word, thank you, Father, God cannot lie. He doesn't lie, faith of God. Hold on to the word of God. He said no weapon formed against you will prosper. In other words, that understanding is not going to succeed nor prevail over you. It will not. Thank you, Lord God. Hold on to the word of God. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. I bless God for the word this morning. Woman of God, thank you so much. Amen. As you were reading that scripture concerning Ahab, oh my God. Amen. Praise God. I begin to just hear it. Amen. I heard it. Amen. And the revelation came. So I bless God for the word. Listen, you get a chance, go back to that that first King 20, 22 and 34. Amen. Or read that whole chapter. Amen. But I bless God for the word. Uh, his word is very nigh unto us. Amen. Listen, as you go throughout your day, please be encouraged. Encourage yourself. Speak life and not death. And know that you are more than conquerors. You're overcomers. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Live on purpose. Live with a purpose and live the purpose-driven life, saints of God, as you go throughout your day. We love you to life. Go in peace.